What's up, guys? It's Azo, obviously. And, obviously, we're playing Heretic. Let's go with that first episode, and... That. As you can see, Heretic looks pretty much exactly like Doom, except in a fantasy setting. Ow! Except I'm using the source port skull tag for this. I got, as you can see, full mouse control, got a reticle. It also enables features like jumping, crouching, and shit like that, but I disabled jumping because jumping can break some of these levels. Really good. I've done it. Huh. Anyway, the backstory to this game there's the serpent rider, the spiral, who busy conquering everybody, and he conquered your world. You're an elf named Corvus, and you decided, no, I'm not going to let this douchebag fucking take over my planet, or realm, or whatever. And I was like, well, I'm going to go stop him, and that's where this begins. Anyway, yeah, I'm using the source port skull tag, which is based on the Dead room here in Canada. And I probably need to adjust the volume on some of Yeah, I probably should. Anyway. Yeah, unprofessional. Yeah, that's totally professional. I can't I, I stammer and totally ruin these perfectly good jokes. Anyway, we're doing this on medium. Or was I? Oh, right. Something about. Well, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Awesome. Yeah, I know the text is really small on this. That's because I'm using... Because Skull Tag actually supports widescreen formats, which is... Which is actually not native to these games, because these Heretic, Doom, Her Hexen... These are like 1990s games that widescreen wasn't even invented at that point. So... That's why the menu bar looks weird, that's why, you know, textures... I'm trying to create as classic feel as I can with this, which is why I'm not jumping or anything like that. But, I chose free look, which is the looking around like this, because it, at this point it's so ingrained in my muscle memory that it, not having it is just, why would I even do that, what is wrong with me? Why would you do such a thing? Anyway, unlike Doom, this has a grand total of five episodes. Each one expanding on the story, and... Shit. Oh. Well, use the old style of text. You actually have to read shit. There are no cutscenes. Of course, if you're watching this, you probably know all about that. Because I. Basically, all I've been doing is old games. But full disclosure, that's basically a holding pattern until Skyrim comes out and Modern Warfare 3, and then. And just jump into the new games. Anyway, what I'm using right now is the Elven Wand. And this is pretty much the shotgun. It's the ethereal crossbow, in case you can't read it. You probably can. Sweet. Anyway, originally, you would not be able to look around... Why do I come around over this? Okay, back to that train of thought. Shit. Anyway, when Modern Warfare 3 comes out, and then Skyrim will... Probably be taken up with that. I can't do anything on the consoles because the way my house is set up, it's not possible. Yeah. So, yeah, and at the end of each level, you get a little stat screen showing you how well you did. It took us four minutes and 27 seconds to beat that level. Then there's these map screens, which I always liked. You know, it shows you where you are and how far you're making it. There we go. I 
was going to do Descent, but, you know, the music for that doesn't work. And I could have used one of the other source ports called J-Doom. But I'm not as big a fan of that one anymore. I mean, I used to be a huge fan, but... You know. Anyway, I keep talking about source ports, and it's... For those of you who don't know, it's basically... A way for games like this to run on modern day systems. And it has enhancements. Like, uh... In this case, free look, the ability to jump, crouch, which I've disabled. Because that's kind of cheating. And a bunch of other shit. There's a couple for Doom, and the Doom-like games. There's, uh... Z-Doom, there's... GL-Doom, there's Skull-Tag, that I'm using now. There's a couple others I can't think of. There's a fucking gargoyle up there. There you are. Get him! Get him. Seriously, die. Shit. Uh, where was I? Oh. Skull Tag is a more multiplayer focused version of Z Doom. So. Yeah, it's got like. It's optimized for multiplayer. It's got a lot of features for multiplayer, a lot of mods for multiplayer. One of which is uh, Invasion, which I really like. Which I don't think Heretic has any maps for that that I'm aware of. There you are. Hey. Sit down. There's one specific mod called uh, Alpha Invasion and Delta Invasion, which are really good, so... I tried playing those online, and it's pretty good, but I, I need to do it a little more often recently, among other things. Shut up. Those are basic, those are called mummies, by the way. They're basically like zombies that get close to you. Anyway, this game... Obviously, it's made with the Doom engine, and it was made by Raven Software. Well, shut up. And it introduces the inventory system like this. Like what I've got down there, that purple thing. It's a quartz flask, which gives me 25 health. And if you look, and other stuff, torches, light amp goggles, and the, that's the Tome of Power, which upgrades your guns to super powerful status, and it's fucking awesome. There's a weapon called the Gauntlets of the Necromancer, which is basically a chainsaw. Because, um... Oh, I have them! Yeah. Yeah! So it's basically Force Lightning. Of power that becomes red, and I think it gets red. And I think it also saps life. I don't really want to use up the Tome of Power right now, but. Hmm. But yeah, it's a good way to conserve ammo and. Ooh. Did I get that? Yeah. This is the Dragon's Claw, which I like. Basically, a chain gun. You pack, pack a punch. Jeez. If you um, use the tome of power on this, it becomes fucking. Well, it shoots out slower because. Yeah, it shoots slower, but it like shoots out a bigger ball that when it hits something, it disperses into a bunch of spikes that go everywhere. Every weapon has a different power for it. Like, there's later guns that get... Oh, there's a gun called the Phoenix Rod. That you... You upgrade that, and it's fucking amazing. It's a flamethrower. That's a Shadow Sphere, which is basically... The partial invisibility from Doom. The 
thing about this is you can actually store all this shit up and use it when you need it rather than, oh, pick it up and then, oh, you're using it and you may not actually need it, you know? Maybe you've cleared the area and then you find an invulnerability. It's like, well, great, I kind of wasting this invulnerability. Now, in this game, though, you get, like, the ring of invulnerability, and then you can use it whenever the hell you need it. So. Come on. Those are explosive barrel equivalents. Those guys, I think, are called Revenants? Reavers? Death Knights? Fuck, I don't know. The armored dudes that I, I like. Those guys are pretty cool. Pretty cool guys. Except when they're shooting at me, which is all the time. Time bomb of the ancient ancients. That's a new item. Which is basically just leaving mines. Because you just string them along and then you can blow shit up as they all run away. Map scroll. Full map. Come on, get out of the way! I really, I liked Heretic. I mean, the main exposure I had with this when I was a kid was the shareware version, which was the first episode. I would try to get into the second one like, any way I could, like cheating and shit like that, but it didn't work. But, you know. Yeah, I mostly had shareware versions to work with when I was a kid, but that was good enough for me. I fucking loved it.